We stayed a couple of nights in one of the most famous Punta Cana resorts, the Barceló Bávaro Palace. These are 16 things we loved about this hotel. Hello, Travel Box! The first thing we loved about our stay in the all-inclusive Bávaro Palace was right out of the bat at check-in. A clever thing they do is give you a pager that notifies you when your room is ready. This was the first time we'd seen this in any Punta Cana resort and it was very convenient. This pager allowed us to enjoy the resort without having to come back to ask if our room was ready. We just knew it when the pager buzzed. Number 2. We loved the Carré Lobby Bar. This bar was beautifully decorated with lovely piano music in the background. Shout out to the ghost playing the piano, he was terrific. Friendly staff and most importantly, great drinks. Here, John had a tequila sunrise to die for. Number 3. The taste and variety of the buffet restaurants were very good. There are two different buffet restaurants, Boillo Dominicano and Miramar. They are heavy on Dominican-style food and a little light on international cuisine dishes. It was notable how much variety of sweets there was. They even had a soft ice cream machine. The breakfast buffet had many options, offering more international variety than lunch or dinner. Everything we tasted was delicious. Number 4. The trains that take you around the resort are very convenient. The Barceló complex is extensive, and going from one place to another can be tricky, especially if you have any physical limitations. The trains run from 8 a.m. to 2 a.m. at reliable intervals, so you can always count on them. Number 5. Strikers, the 24-7 sports bar. It's a great place to hang out and grab a quick snack. It has a small buffet of finger foods always available, with options like hot dogs, burgers, fried fish, and clams. Strikers is a popular spot in Bavaro Palace. It was busy every time we visited. We caught the end of a Knicks vs Cavaliers game on the big screen at the sports bar. This area is really cool and has exceptionally comfortable seating. This big screen and theater is an excellent addition to the bar and a great way to enjoy sports game with fans from around the world. Did you know you can book your Punta Cana hotel on your favorite booking site and help us grow our channel? Simply do it through our affiliate links in the description of any of our videos when you're ready to book your resort. If you book within seven days of clicking the link, we earn a small commission and it doesn't cost you extra. Number 6. El Cielo, which is Spanish for heaven. El Cielo is a small and secluded section for guests over 18, with a medium-sized pool with water jets in the center and a bar. El Cielo is a relaxing area and a great place to sneak away from the kids which abound in this hotel. El Cielo is also the closest bar to the beach. Number 7. Ojo 19 or 19th Hole Restaurant. Ojo 19 is an a la carte restaurant at the end of the golf course. It's less crowded than the lunch buffet and mainly used by guests playing golf, but it's available to everybody. The view of the golf course is gorgeous and it was a lovely experience. John had the short ribs and I had the margarita pizza here, and both were very good. There is a small buffet for appetizers while you wait for your order. The decoration at Ojo 19 was on point, and this experience was one of the highlights of our stay. Number 8. We loved the Mexican restaurant Cielito Lindo. The decoration was also on point and exciting seating arrangements. We chose to sit in the weird chairs around the grills, which made it an exciting experience. The staff at this restaurant was the friendliest we interacted with during our stay. We tried the tamales, corn soup, quesadillas, sabana, and the vegetarian chilaquiles. Everything was tasty. Number 9. The Beach Bavaro Palace is located on Bavaro Beach, selected in the TripAdvisor Traveler's Choice Awards as one of the best beaches in the world in 2022. The beach lived up to its reputation. 
it was stunning. The two-tone color of the water, the white sand, and the Caribbean sun made this a perfect morning at the beach. We visited on April 14, 2023, and there was virtually no sargassum on the beach or the water. We know this will change as the summer approaches, but the beach was clean on this date. Number 11. The hotel is beautiful. The vegetation is fully grown and lush. The hotel grounds are very well groomed and maintained. The Barcelo complex has a tropical feeling, making it a beautiful property with an intrinsic Dominican feel. Number 12. The mall area. This area has many small shops for souvenirs, cigars, rum, clothing, etc. Many resorts have shopping areas, but this one was massive. You'll also find an escape room open from 10 a.m. until midnight, where you can choose from three different games for $30 per person. Number 13. Pirates Island Water Park. There's a waves pool on one side of the pirate ship and water slides on the other. This is an excellent spot for the whole family. And since it's a smaller pool, the water is warmer than at the big pools. Number 14, the pool variety. The Bavro Palace has a wide ranging selection of pools, ranging from two super big pools overlooking the beach, one with a pool bar, to a tiny kiddie pool for the family's youngest members. The Barsi Water Park supplements this kiddie pool, but an extra fee applies to enjoy this attraction. Finally, there is a pool for lap swimming beside one of the big pools. It is not Olympic sized, but you can have a great workout in it. In addition to these pools, you have El Cielo and Pirates Island. Number 15. This resort is loaded with amenities. Due to its massive size, the Barcelo Bavro Palace has many amenities. They range from standard resort amenities like a kids club to more unique ones like a baseball field. In fact, we've stayed in 16 Punta Cana resorts and this is the first time we've seen one as an amenity. You'll find a full-sized soccer field next to the baseball field. There are two paddle courts, four hard surface tennis courts, and a baseball court. Sit tight because we're about halfway through the amenities. The Bavaro Palace also has a spa and right next door a medium-sized gym with multiple cardio machines but only a few strength machines or free weights. There is an on-site casino for those wishing to dance with Lady Luck and a nightclub for nighttime entertainment. A separate disco is open for teenagers from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. A church named Oratorio Virgen de San Salvador offers Catholic services on Saturdays and Sundays. A four-lane bowling alley shares a location with the arcade. Both amenities are paid to play and you can exchange your winnings in the arcade for prizes. For golf lovers, the Barceló Bavaro Palace has you covered. It has a mini golf course, a potting green, and a beautiful 18-hole golf course by the architect and designer P.B. Dye. You'll find different board games in the entertainment center, like Dominoes, Monopoly, and Battleship. You can also play ping pong, foosball, petanque, shuffleboard, and giant chess. Number 16. The Culinary Variety In addition to the buffets, the Mexican restaurant Ojo 19 and Strikers Sports Bar, five specialty restaurants are open for dinner. Santa Fe is the steakhouse, Coral the seafood place, La Dolce Vita the Italian restaurant, Kyoto the Japanese restaurant, La Fuente is the Spanish food restaurant and La Comedie is the French cuisine and it's the only one on this list that is not included in the hotel fare. All these restaurants are in the same area and are easy to navigate. However, not everything was rosy. Click on this video to see our full review of the Barceló Bavaro Palace where we also talk about the things we didn't love.